I miss the life, isn't it? Comfortable, relaxing, bonbons. <laughs> Fly in here. I get that screen door fixed. I told Brad a million times. I said, honey, get the get the screen door fixed. Will you, dear? Get it. I missed him. There he is. No, missed. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> Get it, dear? No. There he is. <laughs> and don't come back. Tony, what in the world? It was a fly, honey. I told you about the screen. Oh, thing, yes. Huh? Hello, no. Laura. Hi, Beverly. Hi, you're late, sweetheart. Oh, boy, what a day. Yeah? Maxwell case is really knocking me out. Here, put your feet up here, darling, and mm. relax. You do work hard, Angel. How about your pipe, dear? Oh, thank you, dear. And yet, uh, well, <laughs> say, uh, can I have the evening paper? Well, of course, darling. Give me the... Uh oh, I'm going across the street to see Betty. Howard. Joey, may I have the evening paper, please? Uh, the stock market went up today, dear. Oh, that's good. May I have the paper? Uh, and the weather report says that uh, variable winds and, and high clouds and uh, a little rain and the smog. Woo hoo! Joey, may I have the paper, please? <laughs> What did you do? Wrestle the newsboy for it? Oh, what a day. Everybody thinks being a judge is easy. What are you looking for, dear? The uh, want ads. Brad, you're not looking for another job. Oh, no, honey. I just put an ad in for a secretary, and I want to see if it's in the paper. Oh, thank heavens. For a minute, I thought we were back to... A secretary? Well, what's the matter with Miss Blake? Well, nothing, nothing. She's going on her vacation, and I need another girl for two weeks. Oh, what a time for her to go. Uh-oh, here it is. Here it Let is. me right. see it there. Right there. Wanted. Capable legal secretary. Uh, typewriting, shorthand, good appearance. Good appearance? Well, Joni, for goodness sakes, you always put that in an ad. Well, you didn't put it in when you advertised for a gardener last spring. Well, a secretary is certainly different than a gardener. Oh, you noticed that. No. Why can't I be your secretary, Brad? Why can't... Oh, don't be silly, Joan. Well, what's wrong with my appearance? Oh, nothing, nothing. But a secretary has to be cheerful and... Well, I'm cheerful. <laughs> well, has to know uh, typing and shorthand, have diplomacy, tact, legal phraseology. Well, I'm cheerful. <laughs> I didn't expect all those things from me before we were married. Is a secretary more important than a wife? Yes. No, no, I mean, no. No, you're, you're a wonderful girl, and, oh, I love you dearly. There's no one in the world like you. I, I cherish you above all others, but you just can't be my secretary. Why not? Give me one good reason. Well, I can give you a thousand. For one thing, you, you can't spell. I can't spell? Bradley J. Stevens, how dare you say a thing like that? Ask me to spell anything. All right, I'll do that. Uh, spell uh, habeas corpus. H? Hey. Well, that's a very hard word, Brad. Ask me something easy like uh, jurisprudence. All right, jurisprudence. Well, it doesn't have to be that word. Try me on cat. Oh, no. <laughs> no, honey, just forget about it. You can't be my secretary. I'm up to my neck and work at the office, and I have to have someone who can handle it, that's all. <laughs> Well, darling, I took typing in high school, and it's only for two weeks. No, Joan, no. Absolutely no. Uh, excuse me.
Excuse me. <laughs> I could get plenty of jobs, but I thought it would be nice to work for a judge. Me too. Me too. Besides, I think he's terribly cute. I wouldn't mind taking dictation from him. It's just as easy to work for an attractive man, I always say, so why not? You know what I mean? Yeah, why not? And do I know what you mean? He's a real dream. I could sharpen pencils for him forever. Excuse me, girls, but uh, who are you talking about? Why, Judge Bradley Stevens. Oh, he's such a doll. Have you seen him? Sure. He's the good-looking man that told us to wait in here. Then he went into that office. Ah! That wasn't Judge Stevens you saw. That was his clerk. Uh, that's Judge Stevens up there. That's Judge Stevens? This? Well, yeah, of course, he was much younger when this picture was taken. Excuse me, I have another appointment. I don't want to be late. Me, too. It's for a steady job. <laughs> well, I'm all ready to go to work, honey. Judge Stevens. Yes, Judge Stevens, honey. Well, we have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. First of all, take a letter. The uh, Honorable Judge Lionel Cushing, Superior Court. Dear sir, uh, uh, Joni, Joni, uh, what are you doing? I I'm looking for a pencil with an eraser on it. Here it is. Go ahead, dear. Yeah. Uh, dear sir, the Maxwell case is becoming a cause celeb. There is no doubt of guilt here, but in the absence of legal proof, we find ourselves circulus improbando. We accept the principle errara est humanum. However, settlement extra judicium may be our only solution. Sign it sincerely, Judge Bradley J. Stevens. Will you, uh, read that back? Uh, to some judge or other. Here, sir. And all that crazy double talk, uh, circular jelly beans or something. <laughs> really badly, Steve. Oh, oh, you should have seen your face when you're trying to take that Latin down. Oh, <laughs> you're not mad at me because I'm slow, honey? Oh, no, lover. From now on, I'll take it real easy. Oh, oh you know, you're teaching me just like a real secretary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. I was looking for Judge Stevens. I'm Judge Stevens. Get off. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, this is my wife. Yeah. No, really, really, she's my wife. My name is Mitchell. I'm with the Attorney General's office working on the Maxwell case. Oh, I'm, uh, glad to see you, uh, Mr. Mitchell. Judge Stevens, we finally got proof to make this an airtight case. Oh, good, good, good. Where is it? Right here. Here's the original bill of sale. Yes. The deed to the property. Mm-hmm. And the clincher, a certified check for $10,000. Well, we'd better take this down to Judge Cushing and tell him the good news. Oh, uh... Oh, Joan, uh, you better put these papers and the certified check in the safe and make sure you lock it, because anyone could cash a check like that. Okay, Chief. <laughs> Come on, Mitchell. Gee, ten thousand dollars. That's two convertibles. Or, uh, one and a half mink coats. Or... Uh, who cares how many three-cent stamps? A thousand dollars, I never... What am I doing with it here? I...
What's wrong? Beverly, you just got to help me find a place to hide this check, honey. You see, it's a it's a certified check for $10,000. Anybody can anybody can spend it, see? And, and I forgot to put it away here at, at the office, and I thought I'd better hide it here in the house before uh, Brad finds out that it's missing. Joan, try to calm down. Yeah, you, you know, Brad told me I'd to take the job, and he was right. He was so right. I ne never should have taken this job. But here comes the woman. Oh, hi, Robert. <laughs> hi, Beverly. Hi, Brad. Oh. Well, lover. Hello, dear. I'm uh, going to wash up for dinner. I'll I'll be right back. You do that. Oh, gee, thanks, kid. The mystery of the three dead women. Girls, you almost had a fourth for bridge. Oh, that was a wonderful meal. I think you did remarkably well, Beverly. Thanks, sis. And you did remarkably well, too, Joan. I mean, today is my secretary. Oh, it was nothing. No, no, I mean it, except for a few minor details that went wrong. I'm proud to say you didn't do one single thing that could cause any real trouble. What's the matter? What's the matter, Beverly? Oh, she just swallowed wrong, oh, I guess. Oh, uh, Beverly, why don't you get a drink of water, dear, in the kitchen? <laughs> No, I honestly admit, Joan, I didn't think you could handle the job as my secretary. I, I thought that you'd be inefficient, careless, and so forth. Me inefficient? Me careless? Me and so forth? Oh. No, I thought you were very capable, lover. And I'm happy to admit that I was wrong. Book. Huh? Wasn't there another book on the shelf, dear? Oh, oh yes, the, the other book, The Mystery of the Three Dead Women. What happened to the book, Brad? Well, you remember after dinner when I took a walk? Yes. Well, I took the book back to the library. Oh, it was a library book. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's wrong, lover? I've got to find that certified check for $10,000. Well, come on, Johnny, let's start looking. Uh, what's the name of the book you hit it in? Uh, uh, the name of the book it... Oh, now, that's funny. Uh, the name of the book is... Come on, what's the name? Well, now, I know it, I know There's it. There's an awful lot of books in this library. Yeah, the name, the name. Uh, uh, it's a mystery book with a red cover. Oh, that's funny. I remember reading it, and now I can't remember the name. Well, maybe the librarian can help. Oh, say, that's an idea. Now, I ask the librarian. Meanwhile, you just look for all the mystery books with the red covers, dear. <laughs> now, you're sure this book has the full account of the ancient Egyptian archaeology? Oh, my word, yes. This is the authoritative work on the subject. Excuse me, but I have a Please. very serious problem. Please. I, I, I know, you see, but there's a very Please. important pa uh, paper that... that now, shall we speak more softly and shall we get in line? Uh, you don't understand. Shall we speak more softly and shall we get in line? We shall speak more softly and we shall get in line. Very well, you are Now, what can I do for you? Softly. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you could help me locate a certain book. I it's a mystery about a woman who inherits a lighthouse. What's its title? Well, it's called The Mystery of the Three Dead Women. But what I want to know is, what's the title? The Mystery of the Three Dead Women? That's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Shh. You don't be more quiet, I will order you out of my life. Joan, have I got news for you? All the mystery books have red covers. I know it doesn't matter now, dear. I know the title. Mystery of the Three Dead Women. And we've got to be awfully quiet. I can't take a chance on it getting thrown out of here, you know. Okay, I'll look over here. Okay. The Missing Mountain. Murder at the Zoo. Romance Among the Porcupines. <laughs> romance Among the Porcupines? I guess it is a mystery at that. <laughs> I warned you. Uh, but, but I wasn't making any noise. Honestly, I, I've just got the hiccup. Yes, but it's very distracting to the other people. Now, one more hiccup, and out you go. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Out you go. I warned you, not a word out of you, not a word. Listen. Oh, Miss. Yes. Well, would you help me, please? In just a moment now. You get out. Not another word out of you. So. Yes. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I'm looking for a copy of uh, Crazen Flas on the Silver Rock. I beg your pardon. It's by uh, Zillamo Z. Zetzenfrager. Zetzenfrager? Zetzenfrager? It's the same man who wrote uh, Sheep and Cinder in the Rowland Field and Breber and Feber in the Boar. Oh, Zetzenfrager. Well, I'll have to look it up for you in the long run. Oh, thanks, Beverly. You saved my life, honey. Tony, I found the book. Well, that man over there is reading it. <laughs> Since he hasn't found the check yet, or he'd be down at the bank. I gotta figure out some way to get that book away from him. Well, you better not tell him about the check, or he won't give you the book. Right. <laughs> I see you're reading the uh, mystery of the three dead women. <laughs> I suppose you guessed that the uh, lawyer is the murderer. You know, the one who drew up the will that gave the girl the lighthouse? <laughs> he killed them all with poison. Yes, I know. I always look at the end of a book before I read it. I can't stand the suspense. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it didn't work. Now, I gotta figure some way to get that book away from him before he finds the check. I've got an idea. Closing time, closing time. All books away. <laughs> Uh, closing time. Please return all books to the library. Oh, you're a genius. That's the librarian for a ladder. Are you kidding? If she sees us, she'll throw us both out of here. I know. I'll climb up on the shelves. Spread out, honey. <laughs> $10,000, so I had to get it. It's in the beginning here, or maybe it's at the, in the end. In the middle. It's not here. Well? Would you stamp all these, please? I'd like to take them home. Uh, Mrs. Stevens, would you uh, please come in now? Miss Stevens, uh, take a letter. Uh, Brad, I think the time has come when I should tell you something. Uh, no, later. I have a great many important things to do. Uh, honey, I think I should tell you now. Uh, no, no, no. Let it wait. I have some letters to get out. And... Oh, yes, the notes on the Maxwell case. I'd better get them out of the safe right now. Well, before you do, dear, uh, would you be mad at me if I made a little error about something? A little error? No, no, I don't think I'd mind. Uh, well, how about a medium-sized error, dear? Well... Or, or a great big error. 
or even a giant-sized monstrous mistake of very sizable proportions. Well, it all depends what the error involves. Brad, I've got a confession to make. Oh? Well, here's the original bill of sale, the deed to the property. Honey, you remember when you asked me to put all those things away in the safe the other day? Yes, and a letter from the attorney. Well, honey, uh, when I was putting them and away a certified here... certified check for $10,000 and a notary public statement. Well, you see, honey, after I realized when the door of the safe was... What did you say about a check for $10,000? Well, the check, the one you put in the safe last night. The one I what? The one last night? Well, the check, remember? The certified check for $10,000. It's magic. Well, now that paper, let's finish that letter that we started. Dear uh, Joni, yesterday, while finishing a book called The Mystery of the Three Dead Women, I came across a certified check for $10,000. So I figured that you had forgotten to put the check in the safe, and I thought that the safe... Jay Stevens, you knew about the check, and you deliberately let me... And, and you let me go at the last... And almost, oh. You just wait. No, honey, wait no, 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 not there. No, Here, please. please. I mean, we have... No, have no, to no, I never no, did that thing. Say, it is your wife a thing. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I married Joan. What a girl, what a world, what a light. Oh, I married Joan. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Dee and gay, all day she keeps my heart laughing. Never know where her brain has flown. Can't deny.